it's part 50 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss detecting errors in views at compile time. Please watch part 49 before proceeding. We'll be working with the same example that we started in the previous sessions of this video series. Please note that compile time error checking in MVC views is disabled by default. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have the MVC demo project that we have been working with and this details view displays the employee details. So when we navigate to this details view, we can see the employee details there. And notice that this details view is a strongly typed view against employee model class. And this employee model class has got several properties like full name, gender, age, date of birth, etc. And notice that as I, you know, start typing, I get IntelliSense, you know, full name is a property on the employee model class. But then if I misspell the property name, look at that, instead of full name, I have typed it as full name 1, save it, and then when I build the solution, notice that we don't get any compile time error checking. Notice on the status bar, build succeeded. Okay, so by default in MVC views, if you misspell any property names, you know, or if there are some errors, you don't get compile time error checking. Okay, so now we actually, when we navigate to this view, let's refresh this view. Notice that we get a runtime error, so we will ever come to know about these errors only at runtime, which is very dangerous. Now, is it possible to enable um, error checking at compile time? Absolutely, and the change is very simple. All we need to do is, you know, open the MVC project file using a notepad or any of the text editors that are available, and then, you know, search for this MVC build views element. And by default, this will be false. Set that to true, save the changes, and we get compile time error checking. Let's actually look at that in action. So this is a project here, and this project is created in this folder, MVC demo. So that's the solution folder. Within that, we have this MVC demo, another folder. This is the project folder. And notice that there is a file with an extension .csproj. .csproj stands for C Sharp project. So here, the programming language is C Sharp. Hence, the project files will have the extension of .csproj. On the other hand, if your programming language is VB, then the extension of the file would be .vbproj. So let's open this with a notepad. And the easiest way to do that is open notepad and drag and drop the project file onto this and search for MVC build views and then search for that notice that by default it's false all we need to do is change that to true save the file and then flip to Visual Studio look at that since we have changed the project file you know the project needs to be reloaded so click on reload so that should reload the project once again. And then now, look at that. We have full name 1. Let's try and build this project and see what's going to happen. So we should get compile time error checking right now. So build progress. It's still building the um, solution. Notice that we get the compile time error. OK, so we can detect these errors at compile time itself. Now, if I change that back to full name, and then let's recompile this. So build started and notice that in the status bar it should say now build succeeded. Look at that build succeeded. Now we come back to the view, refresh that. We should be able to see the employee details there. Notice that we see the employee details. So those are the three simple steps to enable compile time error checking in MVC views. And please note that there's something else called pre-compiling views. Uh, this is completely different from compile time error checking. We will discuss pre-compiling views in a later video session. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.